I'm going to speak in English, I'm sorry. Reading furnishes the mind only with materials of knowledge. It is thinking that makes what we read ours. John Locke. Creativity is the use of imagination or original thought to create something, anything. So how can we be creative? Is it something that can be taught or learned? Or is it an intrinsic ability that some people share and others don't? I'm sure the answers to these questions are not simple and perhaps not attainable. But I believe that to be a creative person, you have to be able to think creatively. So thinking creatively, what does that entail? To me, it means looking at life from a new perspective, imagining new results, challenging norms, and asking questions. Just because it's an opportunity to see something as more than what it is. It may not be real, but if it exists in your mind, the possibility for it to exist and become real is possible as well. So, creativity can be used for many different things. To create art, music, theater. It can also be used in subjects such as math and science, or for plans to change the world, whether that be environmental changes or social changes. And those, those changes, those creative things do not come from an intrinsic ability that somebody has, but from being able to look at the world differently. Being creative is not limited to only artists or writers. Anyone who is willing to look at the world from a new perspective has the ability to think creatively. Think about Darwin, who challenged everything he was ever taught and was told many times that he was wrong, that what he was doing made no sense. And now, because he continued to ask questions and continued his research, we have an entire new field of science to study and a new history to investigate. Perhaps this is something that we should be including more in high school curriculums, not what to think, but how to think. So how do we invoke this creative thinking? How can we teach without telling? We have to create situations in which students are forced to think for themselves. We, they must be given opportunities to see subjects as more than just words on a page or facts to memorize. Now, not everyone is going to find their creative niche somewhere in, as an artist or as a scientist, although that's not to say the opportunity shouldn't be given. Right? We should continue to encourage questions and new ideas, encourage new perspectives. I found my niche in literature, literature which is meant to be complex, to invoke thought and change. Take Miguel de Cervantes, for example who was easily the most creative writer of his time. He filled Don Quixote with a ton of new, innovative writing techniques and forced his readers to question the once firm line between reality and fiction. Now, as a student, I can tell you that Don Quixote, at first glance, seems like a boring story about a crazy man written too long ago to care about. But after taking a class that forced me to look at Don Quixote in relation to the senses, I had to investigate a little bit further into what I was reading. And I realized that Don Quixote had to touch things before he realized that they were not what they were in front of him. So to me, I realized that Don Quixote, for Don Quixote, tangibility verifies existence. Tangibility verifies existence. This to me was a huge revelation and a philosophy that I came to on my own terms, which made it that much more interesting. So rather than reading literature as a simple text, we have to ask questions. What do these characters want? How can the text be linked to another? What from life is being explored in this text. 
These are the questions that require and spark creative thinking because creative thinking starts with questions. Now literature, language is the basis of literature, yes? Language is the root of all philosophies and concepts. It's how we communicate and it's how we share and come up with new ideas. Now I think when most people start learning a new language, they see grammar and vocabulary and perhaps a culture that they associate with that language. But creativity, not so much. And I was part of that too, until I was in a class where my professor made us do a project about second language acquisition. We were told to do an experiment regarding second language acquisition. That's all we got, no guidelines, no directions. And I was infuriated. I was no scientist. I didn't know how to conduct an experiment. And I had no idea where to start. I felt lost. But out of this, I, I really learned how to think for myself and to come up with my own ideas. I ended up trying to answer the question of whether or not untranslatable words exist. Now, I did not find the answer. But along the way, I discovered some other ideas that really opened my mind and opened my world. In Spanish, you have two words for something that in English we have only one word. You have rincón and esquina. And in English, we have only corner. For example, in South America, there's a spider called rincón araña. Esquina araña can't exist, right? And corner spider doesn't really evoke the same meaning, right? Because we see a corner as an entire entity, but you guys make the distinct, the, you guys distinguish between the inside of a corner and the outside, esquina, yes? And to me, that really opened my mind to the fact that there are concepts that I don't know because of a language barrier. There are concepts that maybe exist only in my language. And how can language be the root of all philosophies and concepts if the words don't exist to describe it? I now can notice the difference between a rincón and a esquina. I now realize that there's intricate things in the world that I don't notice because I don't have the vocabulary for it. Now, linguistics is a relatively new field, and it's in need of creative minds to continue asking questions and doing research. So what does this show us? I think that this shows us that creativity is the basis for language and literature and life. And to continue moving forward, we need to continue asking questions and continue encouraging creative thought. Muchas gracias.